guys, it is Saturday, and it's still hot here in Texas, even though they said we're getting a cold front coming through. It was cold this morning, but it's not nice cold now, morning. it's hot. So we had to put the shade up, and we are building crates for our second hallway. You guys have seen the pipe hallway, and uh, we're going to build some crates. We wanted people to have some obstacles, basically, to have to slow them down and for them to have to wiggle around and... You know, we'll we'll hide some uh, some sound in them or some a bumble box or something. And um, the whole the thing I'm hoping to do is have imagine this is up taller, and we'll have like a crate like this that'll as they walk by, it'll do like that. It'll tilt. So put some sort of pneumatic prop up here, and we'll have it like that. Of course, it won't fall, but they won't know that it ain't gonna fall on them. And uh, we'll, so that'll be added to the uh, falling pipe. So. This is the skeletons. We basically took some uh, two by fours and we've been ripping them with the table saw. So we're making our own uh, one by twos basically. It's, it's a lot cheaper than <laughs> buying one by twos. And then we're just uh, putting them together with staples. And then we're going to frame them or uh, skin them with glue on. And then we've got some um, pallets that we took apart, um, like pallet wood that we may or may not put on, I don't know. It, it depends on what the look's gonna look like when you put the old and new wood together, we'll see. But if we do, we've got it. It'll make it heavier. So, that's it. We'll uh, show you more when we get more done. All right, guys. So it is Sunday morning, and this is the uh, six weekends before Halloween. Because we started yesterday with seven weekends, so this is Sunday, technically six and a half days, and it's about noon. So go to figure. We ain't got that much time left. So we are about to start a very ambitious project, and hopefully this will work. Um, we've got these crates. We showed you guys the crates in the earlier vlog that you'll probably see at the beginning of this one. And we are going to take that little crate over there, and our plan is to put it, and this is going to be up taller, so there's going to be another crate underneath the one that's down here. And then this one's going to sit up on top, like this. And the plan is to put it on these drawer slides and have it when they step on the mat, it's going to slide forward, and then we're going to tilt it. So this is going to be, uh, hopefully, like Greg's demonstrating, like that. So that's what we plan on working on today, guys. We've got the two boxes we got to put together to the top box here, and then we got to figure out the mechanism here and get our piston and everything put in. And we're hoping to get this all done by the end of the day. So it's a challenge for sure, but we're up to it, right, Greg? <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll keep you posted as we make progress. All right, guys. So the first thing that we needed to do was take a trip to the hardware store, and we got us some hinges, and we've just drilled a couple of holes, and Greg is showing. That's the hinge, and we're going to mount that. Actually, the other way. Flip it over. There you go. We're going to mount it that way. We had to drill a couple of our own holes in the drawer slide. So we did that. This is the hinge for that one. Yep. So that will just go in like that. And then we're going to go ahead and mount that. And we'll show you more later. Alright guys. So here's what we've come up with. We've got our drawer slides. And we have mounted them to the uh, hinges, or the hinges to the drawer slides, and now we're going to mount these hinges to this box, and then once we do that, we're going we're gonna to use screws for that, because if we, or bolts, I should say. Um, we've tried using screws before in something like this, and uh, it usually breaks itself loose. So we'll use bolts, we'll put some uh, nylock washers on it, and then uh, basically... What it'll do is when it comes forward, we'll make it do like that. You guys see that? It'll kind of tip forward. So that's where we're at. A little more later. 
All right, guys, it's a little later in the day here on Sunday, and we have got our drawer slides in place. We've got them mounted to our box. We've got the little box that's going to tip mounted to this, and we've got this set up so that it slides. It's not going to slide a lot, but we don't need it to really slide a lot because it's going to slide, and then it's going to tip like that so that's what we got so far guys so we're getting ready to take uh, a couple of these boards here we're gonna place a couple of these two by twos in like that and then we're gonna take a piece of aluminum and we're gonna mount it underneath the two by two just above the top of the ram and that's gonna sit going across like this here and then what we'll do is we will mount our pop-up ram somewhere underneath here um, preferably closer to the front we'll put the plate on and the pop-up ram will pop up hit the plate and as this is going down like this it'll hit the plate and then that's what's gonna tip the whole thing up so that's the plan we're kinda working this as we go so um, we'll see how that's gonna work and hopefully we'll have something to show by the end of today. That's what we're shooting for. We wanted to get this knocked out because this was on the list for the falling crate prop. So we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll show it to you as we do some more. All right, guys. We are set up here. We've got our forward ram that's going to move the box back and forth. And we've just installed the pusher ram that's going to push it up and into the plate and tip the box. So it basically goes forward like this. And then we'll have the pusher ramp push up and push it up. And then we'll probably put some sort of a spring, um, something back here to keep it from trying to tip all the way over. So we're going to get ready to plumb this up and put uh, the valves on it and then uh, we'll carry it over and we'll put some air through it and see what happens all right guys all right guys so we're taking the crate from Greg's garage and we're bringing it into the all right, guys it is late Sunday night and we're gonna get this damn thing done so as you can see we got the spaghetti down here We've got it all plugged up. We got the peekaboo hooked in. Greg is about ready to push the button. Let's see what happens. Hit it. Woohoo! Okay. That's what that's supposed to do. Now let's do the other one. Let's try the other one and see what happens. Let me make sure I've got those. Let me make sure I got those plumbed down. We got that one doing pretty good. Didn't trigger two. Motion on it. Okay. Move it forward and then up it. Okay. Forward. And then try to set up. We need more pressure for up. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Hey, it works. <laughs> we need to put the springs on. We need to put the springs on. Go ahead and hit it again, and I'll and I'll hold it. I just recorded that, so let's see if this took. No, you gotta go forward first. Okay. Forward up. Yeah. Needs a little more. Right, that's a little slow. <laughs> Need a little more pressure. Springs first, yeah, then let's get the springs more on. power. Let me, let me open it up a little more. Okay, hit right. it. Ready? Forward. Good. Up. Yeah. Let's let's do this. Let's give it a little more power because I barely got it on on the compressor. Now okay. you know when you say more power, you're supposed to grunt. <laughs> there you go. Same time that it's sliding forward. Okay. Ready? Yep. There we go. That's it. Yeah. The, the, That's it. The return is a little fast. We just got to fix the return. Okay. Hit it again. That's it right there, dude. No, no, it needs to go down. And then return. Hit it. Yeah. Whoa. You're going to have to open that other one up a little bit. Okay. Right, guys. Hit, hit it, Greg. Ta da! Woo! That's it. Oh. All right, so hit it, Greg. Okay. 
There we go. So the one ram throws it forward on the drawer slides, and the other ram pushes it up, and the spring catches it. So yeah, you know, we may want to actually put another spring or so in there, and I bet you we should probably put a safety line on there too, because if the spring were yeah, to break, safety line would be that would really, idea, yeah. a, the spring breaking would really suck. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, let me put the other spring on. But that's our falling crate prop. And, uh, Tipping crate, yep. Yep, we got that done um, today. We basically started that today. And finished it. We, we started the crates yesterday, which you will see at the beginning of this vlog. And we got that tipping crate done. So you can see it's got a really crazy angle, guys. So, yep. All right, Christy. We did it in a day. Blah. <laughs> yes, Christy challenged us to see if we could do this in one day. And I'm glad to say that... We did. We did, and damn, our bodies are going to hate us for tomorrow. So we're going to call it a night here at Gotham Spook House. Tell us what you think down in the comments down below, and thanks for subscribing.